wanna share with you another awesome, awesome book. It's called The Happiness Advantage by Sean Anker. Sean was a high level, top tier university researcher. And he, he researched in the field of positive psychology. This is a new field. Typically and historically, psychology has focused on what's wrong with people. So people have these neuroses and these habits, these self-destructive tendencies. Why is that? And how do we identify them and classify them and help them? Well, Sean helped pioneer a new field called positive psychology, which is the opposite. How do we find positive outliers in the population? People who are thriving and are more happy than the general population. Let's study them and see what they're doing. <clears throat> they did a really interesting analysis. He was at Harvard. And if you've never been to Harvard, he describes it like Hogwarts. It's magical. Even the dining hall in Hogwarts was based off of Harvard's dining hall. It's this incredible place. The students that got in there just got into the top university in, in the country or in the world. Like they have every reason to just be ecstatic. But what they found is that it, it never took long for Harvard students to descend into this emotionally crappy state where they're just stressed and they're completely oblivious to all the things that they should be grateful for. And they're actually having like a really hard time emotionally. So he's like, man, why, why is that? Because their circumstances should be making them very happy and very excited and very positive. Well, what they found was that circumstances don't create happiness. You have to be happy first and then that'll influence your circumstances. And they found this, actually they did a study on salespeople and found that salespeople whose brains were primed for happiness, happiness was their default state, actually performed better. And so he gives some strategies in the book. I encourage you, encourage you to read it. But the general premise is that you should just seek to be an independently happy person. And by independent, I mean independent from circumstances. You should spend time every day watching humorous content. You should prime your brain for gratitude. You should text someone every day and let them know what you're thankful for or what you're, why you're grateful for them. You should write down your top three gratitudes every single day. Because if you can prime your brain for happiness, then you will be more productive. Check out the book do things to infuse happiness into your life and you'll be more productive. Win-win.